Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. The President's Twitter fire and fury won't work on the Islamic Republic. Trump's all caps Twitter threat against Iran, consequences the likes of which few throughout history have ever suffered, feels like a cut and paste job from his approach to North Korea. Apply sanctions, make irresponsible suggestion of Armageddon, see what happens. Like an arsonist who puts out his own fire, the president's desultory results on North Korea have reduced the fears he stoked of imminent war, but have not even mapped a course to cap and eventually roll back Pyongyang's nuclear arsenal. Trump's North Korea policy has largely failed to advance U.S. interests, as even the president seems to recognize in private. Trump declared victory, but the North Koreans have neither taken steps toward denuclearization nor committed to do so. They are implementing a very partial freeze of some of their more provocative behavior, such as missile and nuclear testing. That is good news but comes at too high a price, sanctions enforcement is weaker, we have halted military exercises and strained our alliances, and Kim Jong-un has escaped diplomatic isolation. All of that leverage could have been better used. At least Trump has stopped threatening war on the peninsula, probably the best possible outcome for now. Trump won't be able to play this game with Iran. There will not be a grand bargain between Washington and Tehran. Not only is Trump viewed as an unreliable negotiating partner for capriciously killing the nuclear deal, but Iran's ballistic missiles and regional proxies are the foundation of a national security policy rooted in the hard lessons of the Iran-Iraq war. Trump can't simply art of the deal these issues away, doing so would require regional security solutions that are simply implausible given current tensions. Also, despite what Trump may hope, there won't even be a golf version of the Singapore summit, a made-for-TV drama that lowers hostilities without addressing underlying problems. Two obstacles stand in the way, us and them. First, Iran. Even if Trump were to offer Iran a better deal than the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, Jake Pope, negotiated by President Obama, for example, more sanctions relief in exchange for superficial additional nuclear concessions, it is not clear that Iran would be capable of managing its internal political divisions and accepting it.